Yeah, just keep ignoring the issue and putting up this act. God, I'm so concerned and worried about everyone else's problems except mine because I'm dealing with a deeper depression and I like to project. <laughs> okay, I hear you. This isn't my normal type of content. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've got something to say about this. I'm not a fan of Dr. Disrespect. I've never cared for Dr. Disrespect or really any of the bigger streamers on Twitch. I don't know. There's just something about this guy. So I have watched this. I was going to take some notes. I attempted to take some notes. I gave up pretty quickly. I have creep and uh, two time. We'll get into what I mean by that here in a little bit. But let's let Dr. Disrespect continue on. Oh, champs, champs, champs. A lot of people donating. I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. I bet you do. You know? Are you nervous to be back? After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back? Yeah. Dodging the question, he is definitely nervous to be back. With this response, I guess you'd call it response, it's more deflection than it is anything. I feel like he's just testing the water, seeing what'll work, throwing anything against the wall, see what'll stick. It's it's a very odd video, and I'm very put off by him doing this in character as Dr. Disrespect instead of coming out as Guy Beam or whatever his name is. To this type of world <laughs> man <sighs> you know i really wanted to to let this play all the way through uh, and just stop here and there and make some comments but there, there's so much dead air in this because he's really thinking about everything he's having to say which is smart he should be but i don't know it's going to be a pretty long video if i don't make some cuts here and there but i will make sure everything kept in context you're not going to miss out on anything so glad you're back hey i appreciate it si shane it's good to be back to a certain degree Right, we got to figure out this monetization thing. So it's September 25th is, is basically when we can reapply for partnership on YouTube, you know? People ask, like, do, do I, now that you're not getting monetized, you're not going to be streaming ever again or you're on YouTube, are you? I, I'm, there's an opportunity to reapply, right? And it's his career. He's gonna allude to uh, he's gonna allude to his game studio here in a little bit. This is how he makes his money without streaming, without being online. He's not gonna be able to keep up his lifestyle. I don't think. Maybe he's invested. I don't know. Maybe he's doing something to have a cash flow in. This is his job. He's online because he needs to make money. And even though he ain't, you know, partnered with YouTube right now, he and he ain't monetized in any way on YouTube, he's still getting those donations. And uh, with, with a following as big as his, that either keeping him afloat or it's giving him, it, it's making him feel like he's not in so much trouble. He's He feels more secure getting those donations. That's why he's online. He's still making money. He acts like he's not making money, but he's still making money. September 25th is the date. So in the meantime, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. Uh, I enjoy my time here on YouTube. We've built a nice, strong community. With lots of years. donations to give you. This is where we started 16 years ago. 2008, I think. You know, I like my time here. And I like the community. It's we've got the best realist gaming community. Right? He's definitely gonna pump up his community. And by the way, I need to I need to say this. I'm not making any allegations against the guy. For all I know, he 
is completely innocent of doing anything. This video really makes me think, uh, hmm, I'm not sure about that. But I'm not accusing him of anything except for pumping up his audience to give him some donations. Maybe some gaslighting of some people who are on the fence, but he is definitely trying to keep some money rolling in. I honestly think that's what this response, quote unquote, is more about. He, he is trying to fix his reputation, that's for sure, but he's also trying to keep the lights on. The Champions Club. And we've, we've built it on this platform, and this is... And if there's an opportunity to reapply for a partnership, and there's a date that's been presented to us, then I'm going to take it. In the meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. We'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show. You know? For almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. This feels a lot like manipulation, and he's going to make all kinds of noises and stuff. It's a very odd way to win over the people who don't believe you or who are on the fence. The ones who are still with you are pretty safe. It's the ones on the fence that you got to worry about. My champs. You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. It does help Dr. Disrespect out to abide by those rules and not say anything if there is anything in that lawsuit that makes him look bad. He's trying to make himself look like the good guy here. And, you know, maybe he is. Who knows? But if you're, if you're the bad guy in this, keeping it quiet works out for you, right? I mean, that's how settlements go. Settlements go like that. People... People settle so that they can pay someone without having to say I was wrong, basically. I am i don't necessarily think Twitch is doing that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Twitch. There's a lot of problems with Twitch, in my opinion. But for some reason, Twitch felt that their bottom line was going to get hurt by this guy. That's why they let him go. Now, was it to let other streamers in or this or that? Was it something is going to get found out? Either way, they thought letting him go and paying him off was a better option than keeping him on the air to finish out his contract. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. And those terms would have been agreed on by the both of them. It's not like they made the rules and he followed. He co-signed on these rules if he settled, which he did. You know, he, he's not just playing by the rules. He helped make the rules, which both of them were supposed to abide by. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, s since the former Twitch employee let it go, now I don't know, maybe someone currently working for Twitch is the one who has to mouth off first. Maybe he was unsure if he could mouth off. But if that information looks bad on Dr. Disrespect, he is going to keep quiet about it. Mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. And yeah, this he makes a he does make a good point here because I'm sure Twitch probably would have rather had uh, kept those uh, those rules ongoing. Who knows? When it first happened, I guess it seemed like uh, the guy who brought this to the light, it seemed like he was trying to sell tickets for his own shows and to get popular. I'm really not sure that was a smart move on him because if none of this is true, Dr. Disrespect should sue him. It would it would make sense. I haven't seen anything on that yet. I don't go on Twitter very much. From what I understand, uh, Cody, the guy who tweeted this out, has went radio silent. 
that could be something he's doing because, you know, he is getting sued or he's afraid of getting sued or he felt the heat was getting on him. But it, it doesn't seem like the guy come out and told everyone this for the good of uh, Dr. Disrespect community or don't seem like he was trying to keep kids safe or anything like that. It seems like he was wanting to get a little bit of uh, cloud or a little bit of fame something and to sell tickets that's what it seems like to me now maybe i could be wrong but you know i'm pretty sure he was saying that you know if you wanted more information buy tickets to his show or something like that it, there there was there was a give and take there at some point cody connors cody connors yeah ex twitch employee wasn't even involved leaks twitch's reported reason years later Cody, why why you why do this? And I do want to say, as far as I know, it is just a tweet. It's there was no official document, at least that I seen. There was, you know, he didn't take pictures or scan anything. So you know, no screenshots were shown that that I seen. From what I seen, it was just a tweet, which is why I'm being careful here and uh, not alleging or, or not not trying to state that. Dr. Disrespect has done anything wrong uh, as hard fact because, you know, I'm not really sure. What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you fucking rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. Well, I mean, for what? Cody? Why? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? What are the repercussions? Are you suing him? I haven't seen anything about you suing him because if he is making all this stuff up, this is pretty career damaging. And if it was me, I mean, I would, uh, I would be going further to clear my name than this video because this doing this video in character bothers the hell out of me. I'll try not to keep repeating that. You see, you don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> Do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I, I didn't know the legal definition of that. I guess something has made it where Dr. Disrespect really needed to know that information. So if he didn't do anything, he was at least accused of something and maybe it wasn't even in the twitch case maybe it was just afterwards he he's gonna talk about this quite a bit and he's gonna go on about images mostly most of us when we think of sexting we think of it sure it can include images but it can include a lot of talk too but uh i don't know it's, it's probably good for him that he knows that i i tried to get my old college textbook out um, on cybercrime to see if there was anything else because the legal definition of sexting pretty much just alludes to uh, images but I am pretty sure there's some uh, there is some federal law about digital communications that don't include pictures with a minor uh, I can't speak to fact on it right now uh, which is a shame I really wish I could have found that textbook I tried but oh well Maybe if I find it and I see something in there, I'll uh, make a little addendum. I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. Can you even send pictures in whisper? I don't know. I don't even think whispers is on Twitch anymore, which is probably the smart way to go, honestly. But now he, he's going to keep talking about using Twitch whispers. Of course, we don't know if he's communicated in any other way, but there's a million ways to communicate over the internet, which you can, you know, send and receive images on. You know, I'm not accusing him of this, but he's keeping it very narrow, which, which is, you know, that's smart of him. I'm not, I'm not saying it ain't smart, but, you know, it does kind of uh, train the mind in. It, it hones the mind in straight on the whispers and for all we know they could have exchanged 
a kick or or Twitter or anything. Uh, I'm, I'm again, I'm not saying he did that, but if that really was the reason why Twitch wanted to get rid of him, and that would be a scary reason for their bottom line, you know, it would it would make sense to look into other modes of communication. He he has said before, and I believe he says it in this video. Look, there there was no civil or criminal liability. Was there ever a criminal suit against him? Because Twitch ain't going to bring that criminal suit. They they wouldn't. It would be the state or the. Uh, when I say the state, it could be the the federal government or the state government. They would have to bring the criminal charges. Of course, there's no criminal wrongdoing found in a civil case. That's how come people can be acquitted of murder, and then in a civil case, it can be shown that they were indeed responsible for someone's death. It happens quite a bit. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement. He says he made sure it was emphasized in his statement, but why? Why on earth would you want that in your statement? He's going to go on about playing some big brain move here. Not trying to knock his intelligence or anything, but it was not a big brain move. He deleted Miner from that tweet later on. You purposely put it there for what reason? It could do you no good to say that you were communicating with a Miner, especially when you're saying that it bordered on inappropriate or however he put it and he's going to describe that as another big brain move and i just can't see how in the hell that helps him at all edited etc just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it <laughs> and boy oh boy did they ever champs when you and all these so-called journalists cody fired off your tweets so-called journalists is is he going to try and say that this is like fake news? Dude, you tweeted it. You tweeted those, and they took it. It was a quote from your tweet. That is why it's not a big brain move like you're making it out to be. It can only look bad. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? Then why did you say it was a minor in your tweet? You just said you emphasized that it was a minor on purpose. Are you saying it wasn't and you wanted people to believe that? Again, it doesn't help you. It, it's stupid. You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. Well, I can't speak for Twitch here and I can't speak for those other people. But you said you were communicating with a minor. I mean, you're, you're saying, did they think that they were over the, the age? And by the way, are we talking about the age of consent here? Because to a lot of people, that doesn't matter, okay? Especially you being a married guy with kids, I think. If they're under 18, it don't matter. You know, some places have a very low age of consent. You know, some places have child brides. Just because it's legal in some countries for a 50-year-old man to marry a 13-year-old girl or a 7-year-old, we don't go, oh, you know, it's it's legal, so it's cool. That's, that's not how it works, especially in the court of public opinion. This is not a big brain move. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else, and in fact, we I need never to back met. this up. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet Never intended. So, did he meet this person at TwitchCon? Because I know he's saying he didn't intend to, but that doesn't mean that he didn't. It just means that they didn't set it up. I'm not sure that this helps him either. Maybe maybe it's already out there that he met up with the user. Either either way, it's still not going to look good no matter what your intentions were. It's you had already if you have already started communicating and then you meet up with them and like you said in your tweet, it bordered on inappropriate. People are going to scrutinize that action. Meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we never met. Okay, so they never met. Ever. 
your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. So they never met. That, that's good. I would have started out with that. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big-time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now. Don't you think, champs? They act like they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. Well, yeah, there's a lot of opinions out there. That's that's not a bad thing a lot of the time. I mean, a lot of people do have bad opinions, especially when you stoke them, right? To be fair, from what I've seen of this, and like I said, I, I haven't watched a ton of it. I've really mainly just watched the few times that Dr. Disrespect has spoke about it. People on these outlets have they they've showed your tweets they've showed what you've said you know a lot of people have speculated i haven't seen anyone i haven't seen them personally um just straight out call you you know what i guess a lot of people do think you are but bad journalism would be to sweep it under the rug because you talk to a lot of people several times a week and are any of them adults? I mean, I'm sure there's a few, but he he is not he's not a great character for adults. Me and this guy are about the same age. Even his character is built upon people that him and I would have known as children, right? Or as kids back in the 90s. You'd have seen the guy with the mullet who was still stuck in the 80s. A lot of times those guys were creeps too, right? They were, <laughs> That was usually an uncle. Sometimes it was a cool uncle. Sometimes it wasn't a very cool uncle. That That's what this whole character's look is based on, which is another reason I think it's a very odd choice to come on here and talk about this in character. Now, to be fair to Dr. Disrespect, I don't think he actually really wanted to do this. It seems like the chat just kept hounding him about it, which isn't a bad thing. They they should be. And by the way, I'm not telling anybody to go out there and hound him. He he, his own community does deserve answers. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Lose the lose the wig. Lose the sunglasses. Come talk about it genuinely. They report on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. They also reported on this because of your tweet. Don't forget about that. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are, <laughs> actually had firsthand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. Okay, well, it, let's see that. Surely you've got a copy of that. Because it, it, from what you're saying, it was brought up. You know, if they're admitting that there was nothing wrong with it, then it, it was brought up. You should have a copy of this, whatever they use to communicate that to you, or to a court, or whatever, surely you have something saying this. And you're going to see somewhere in here, I think it's toward the end, people are in his chat saying, show the messages. He doesn't want to show shit. I could only think, you know, if we go by what Dr. Disrespect says, then it can only help him, right? It can only help him. Keeping everybody in the dark is going to keep people a-wondering and a-thinking, and people are going to spend time thinking about this, and all they can do is put together what information they have. Unfortunately, we haven't had the best people handing out the information, because Dr. Disrespect, you know, even if he's telling the truth, He's he cannot be unbiased about this. It's it's about him. Cody trying to sell out one of his shows 
really rubs me the wrong way. You know, that, that kind of kills Cody's credibility. And honestly, if the doc had left it alone, I would have probably thought, oh, well, this guy's just trying to sell tickets. Why should I trust anything he says? But that tweet, you know, it got me to thinking that there might be some kind of possibility of something else here. Again, you know, I got to stress this. I'm not alleging anything of him, but I am putting together the information I know about. And I am thinking about all of the possibilities that can come from that. And they're not all good for Dr. Disrespect. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or... He really... He, he says graphic there. Why does... He says sexually graphic messages. If it was me and I had not been having any sexual conversation or anything with this person, I would have said we did not exchange any messages pertaining to sex or uh, or anything alluding to that subject. He specifically says graphic material. And we know he's already talking about sexting as graphic and images. Okay, so you didn't exchange any pictures. That's good. If it if it's kept away. if he if he was just using Twitch whispers, then uh you know, I don't think you can send images through that or maybe maybe you could at one point. But then yeah, through that there would be no graphic. Well, no imagery, right? No imagery. Cuz sometimes when we say graphic, we're talking about wording something in a way that will make you think of imagery so images yeah images. cody connors and these other anonymous sources let's back that up neither i nor the twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images cody connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that i was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this twitch user that never happened I even use the word inappropriate purposely. Don't know what good that would do you because you said that they bordered on inappropriate. Please explain. And look at how it's defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. It's not defaming you if they're not saying it's a fact. If it, you can, you can write articles that have conjecture on somebody's character, as long as you don't state it's fact, okay, as long as there's no intention to ruin you, or to intentionally lie, uh, even not the intention to ruin you, that's not even, as long as it's no intention to lie, because if, if you were guilty of these things, you know, it would be appropriate, but he doesn't like it. Everybody will judge you on every single action they see you do. And everybody is going to make some sort of conjecture out of that. And they're going to base what they think your character is on that. And when you're in the spotlight, when you're a big guy on the internet or a big guy on TV, it's going to happen all the time. I mean, how would each of you look... If all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. I'm going to answer that. For me, I'm a very private person. So if anything that I had wrote was to get leaked out, I would not be happy about it. I wouldn't. But I can confidently say that nobody would think of me how they're thinking of you if my messages were out there you just don't talk to minors it it seems that easy you know if he if he's talking to his nieces or nephews or whatever saying good job whatever it is his family there's nothing wrong with that if he's wishing somebody a happy birthday or having a chat with a with a make-a-wish kid or something like that there, there's nothing wrong with that but you wouldn't want to have 
anything that even borders inappropriate with with any minors and if you're if you're texting or chatting with any minors it there should be a good reason and their parents should know that it's going on and this is not a situation where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing that never happened here well it doesn't have to i'll look at domestic abuse you know a lot of times victims are not the ones who end up bringing criminal charges in domestic abuse situations in a lot of states uh, the state does press the charges whether or not the victim in in da type situations wants to or not because a lot of times it gets dropped and uh you know the those people will live in fear or the abuse will continue to happen. I don't think that's a great point. We're talking about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. So he is saying that Twitch made these allegations because earlier, I mean, that's the way it comes off to me, right? Because earlier he was saying, oh, Cody didn't know anything about it. He wasn't on the team. He didn't know none of this, but now he's... It, it sounds to me like he's saying Twitch did make these allegations. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal. I need to hear that. Bending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal. It wasn't a criminal case. They don't need a legal analysis on it. Most people don't have contracts. You can, you know, in the state I live in, you can be fired for just about anything. There are some things that are protected that you can't be. But basically, you know, all they got to do is say poor performance and there's no questions asked. You're on a contract. If they break that contract, they got to pay you. If you break that contract, you know, there's going to be some kind of penalty. It's a civil thing. There needs not be a legal analysis on whether what you did or not was uh, criminal or illegal. All they need to do is prove that it that breaking the contract was justified. That's that's it. And if they're scared you're going to cost them money, they're going to throw anything they can. Uh, anything that they have an inkling of a thought that you're doing that's going to make them look bad and that will look bad in court or will will look bad just on you in general they can bring that up you see i engage with my community i engage with other streamers and through twitch whispers i communicate with twitch users and i don't necessarily think that's a bad thing communicating with your audience can be a good thing you don't want to have some weird parasocial relationship though you don't want to have a relationship with anyone underage at all conversations that consisted of a variety of playing at least not the kind that he's being accused of right games and gaming politics that streamers and through twitch whispers i communicate with twitch users Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. As long as they're appropriate, most people ain't going to have a huge problem with it. Some people are going to have a problem with you talking to someone under 18 no matter what. Especially if it seems like there's some attraction there. Especially you being married. I know, you know, I don't respect cheaters. Other people, that's, that's their mine to make up but you yourself said that they bordered on inappropriate sure. and I, i'll put up the the tweet somewhere i'll uh take a screen grab of it and put it up here as long as i can find it that i exchanged whispers with the twitch user <laughs> And I say ex partner manager because for years, this guy didn't do anything for me, my community, or my channel. For years. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face of the platform, right? Literally, the face of the platform. We heart, and I know Champions Club remembers this. We got, we got zero front page love 
on the website. Uh, he was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. He, he wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two-time Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I, God, I, would you, would you want to play in it? <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess I can understand being mad at your, uh, I don't know what he called it, whoever, his Twitch partner, coordinator, or whatever it is, um, you know, if they're if they're paid to promote you, they definitely should be um, promoting you. But now he calls himself the two-time. And uh, the, that's the other thing in my notes, the two-time. I suspect he's talking or, or saying he's the two-time champ. That's what I, I gather from that. Again, I don't watch the guy, so I don't really know. I do know that he did come on to the internet, whether it's YouTube or Twitch. I believe it was Twitch. He came on. And I, d I did watch um, this on YouTube where he uh, he talks about maybe some infidelity with his wife. And I think it's so funny that he calls him the himself the two time on here. You know, if if <laughs> if it was my partner and they had cheated on me, well, first of all, I'd get I'd have gotten rid of them. But if they called themselves the two time I would not be thinking two-time champ every time they called themselves that. I would be thinking a two-timer, right? A very odd nickname to give yourself um, with his history. We got zero support from this guy. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two-time. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? Uh, maybe he's maybe he's right. Maybe that that guy or girl or whoever I think he said it was a him. Whoever that person was, maybe they are involved with uh, trying to get his contract gone. Maybe he's just trying to shift blame here. Who knows? The Twitch user tells the ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time just in case anybody missed that. If Twitch already knows about it, they don't have to report it. It's already there. You report something to Twitch so that they'll take notice to it and do some action about it. There, there's no need to report here if they've already looked at it and seen what it said. And Twitch, Twitch is, you know, it's, it's a company. As long as they don't blatantly say, hey, look, everything that you uh, chat about in these whispers is uh, is confidential and uh, we won't never look at it. You know, if they don't say any of that, they can look at everything you say. And you being one of their top creators, I imagine they're going to keep a pretty good eye on you. That being said, I still don't think it would be enough to get rid of you because there's a lot of horrible people still on twitch right so i don't know that one. the twitch user tells this ex twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to twitch but this ex twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with twitch even though the user told them clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged on june 24th 2020 they really don't need the twitch user to escalate this so I'm, I'm not really sure what this is about if they found any wrongdoing they can do it by themselves they don't need to it, it would be enough if they have the messages that's enough the report might you know if there's nothing wrong with the messages the report doesn't make them any worse or any more legitimate it's just the words that were shared between you and the user you know maybe this is true I'm not certain that uh that I personally believe it, although I'm not I'm not saying he's a liar. Let's make that very clear. But it's it's just odd to me. Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues. I'm gonna back and that determine up. fourth, two thousand and twenty, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine 
that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. That means either nothing happened or they didn't want it to come out that something happened. But it was already seen. This guy already, or, or it was already discussed in some way. This guy was telling this user to report. They had to know about it to say, hey, I want you to report this, right? They they still could have done it without her since they are, I, I'm assuming it's a her. Um, they still could have done that with or without the Twitch user. They can see anything you type if they want to look at it. They're, it's not like it's, you know, end-to-end encrypted. At least I don't think it is. And, you know, even then they could build a backdoor into their own system, so to speak. But y- you can guarantee that Twitch is going to make sure they can keep an eye on anything that is said on their platform. <clears throat> that would have been the end. <laughs> that should have been the end. But that partner manager. Oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. He had, he had it out for the two time. For the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken. So what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. So why did he need her to report it in the first place if he could if he could do this? You know, this is what I don't understand. Maybe he is out to get Dr. Disrespect here, but you're saying he was using extra tools that he didn't need to. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. So a day later, on June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L- let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a big time arbitration, okay? I don't know, maybe, maybe he doesn't have access to his Work files, I don't know how how we know that. I don't even know how uh, Dr. Disrespect would know that. These bigger companies, sometimes, you know, they'll have it set up to where you can remotely log in and uh, check any files you need to. Of course, he's on vacation, you know, maybe he doesn't really need to look at this, but I'm sure somebody was in charge. Somebody was still there to make the call. And he came off vacation at some point. I'm not sure what this is supposed to prove either. And, uh, you know, you discover a lot of stuff. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. And, you know, that that is bullcrap there. They should definitely be in context. They should send the whole messages. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. (laughs) Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Okay, so they're saying it wasn't criminal, but was it inappropriate? I mean, you said it bordered on inappropriate. Twitch makes this decision. It, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be illegal. It has to be uh, bad enough for Twitch to believe that it, if it gets out, 
it, it's going to affect them. Because, I mean, make no mistake, I don't believe that Twitch gives a, a crap about anybody's kids or anything. And what I think they care about is their bottom line, how much money they're going to make, how much money they're going to lose. And if it's going to affect that, they are going to toss you out. And to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal and I'm sure they can ban you for just about anything. Being under contract, um, you know, allows you to take it to court, but you settled. Legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. They're not worried about the age of consent. You know, that's a weird thing to bring up here. It doesn't have to be illegal, like I said. Um, maybe the age of consent of wherever they was was 16 or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. That matters if you get charged criminally. You know, it... it it doesn't have to be illegal for them to get rid of you. This is America. A company, when you, there's only some rights you have when you're working with or working for a company. You know, there, there's things like non-discrimination laws, disability laws, stuff like that. But they don't have to go by the laws on age of consent. Among many other things, they don't have to do that. If they were under 18 and bordered on inappropriate, that's that's enough for them not to want you anymore. Is it enough to break contract? I don't know. They settled, right? We don't we don't have the information on this, but it's enough for them to go. This can affect my bottom line. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! I think we might have seen the real Dr. Disrespect or the real guy come out there. And I also want to say, I do believe there should be more worker protections. Um, not for something like this, though. Let's rewind that. Without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! Oh, you could feel that, couldn't you? He's mad. And and if he's telling the truth, um, he you know, say if he's telling the truth, there was still some stuff that he was kind of dancing around there that bothered me. But but if nothing bad went on, I'm not even talking about illegal. Obviously, if it's illegal, you know, get rid of him. But if nothing inappropriate and nothing bad went on, he should be mad. But he says specific words that, that make me think a little more about this, you know, talking about legal definitions and talking about age of consent. And, and don't get me wrong. If if you're young, if you're 18, 19, 20, something like that, you, you definitely need to know your Romeo and Juliet laws and stuff like that. But this guy's like 40-something. He doesn't need to, to worry about that. He just needs to know um, what an adult is. And you don't want to have the kind of conversations he's talking about here with anyone under 18. You know, it's the hard limit. For me, you know, I would probably say no one under 25. Definitely no one under 21. And, man, you know... Me and him are close to the same age, so if it's a teenager of any kind, you know, I wouldn't do it. If they're if they're under eighteen, just you you can't do it. Why? Well, I say you can't do it. I wouldn't do it. Why would he even entertain something like that? And I'm not saying he has, but he has yet to to dispel what a lot of people on the internet are thinking. I'm not going to get into every detail regarding my legal case, <clears throat> but these former Twitch employees that claim to have firsthand knowledge, they just don't have a clue. Well, give us some firsthand knowledge, but you need receipts to back it up. 
I know most of your audience is kids. They're not going to know a lot of this stuff. They're not going to rec- recognize the nuances in your speech. They're easily impressionable. And that's the base of the problem of what you're being accused of in the first place. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. It was a civil case. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I Because you're going to affect their bottom line. Why did Twi- Twitch treat the docs so differently from their other streamers? I mean, outside of the obvious. He does make a good point here. You know, why Why did they treat him different? Because, um, you know, there's a lot of Twitch streamers that have done some pretty bad things, some horrible things. You know, some things that ain't illegal but are morally dubious or just morally wrong. They had to want rid of Dr. Disrespect. They don't necessarily have to treat you the same as they do everybody else. But for some reason, they wanted you gone. Maybe it was... Uh, this one employee who just really didn't like you. That happens to people every day. People lose their jobs every day because they won't kiss up. Or, you know, that's horrible. There should be protections um, for workers and contractors and people to where they, they uh, there's a set standard that people get treated by. But there really isn't much in law at least about that unless you're talking about protected classes and stuff like that some states will have some workers rights more than other states mine has pretty much none just the basic federal ones but you know they they had to want rid of dr disrespect i mean just take a look at me (laughs) unfiltered you've been pretty filtered this entire uh clip here you have been filtering a lot. I would love for you to be a little more unfiltered and, and you know, show us, you know, if you got stuff to back this up, show it. I mean, the, the confidentiality agreement has been broken. Do whatever you can to clear your name. If you can clear your name, you need to do everything you possibly can. The realest motherfucker in this industry. I'm not sure about that. You Six dude, you're, eight. the real you're you're in character right now. Sorry, I'll back that up. He's saying he's the realest in the industry, and I mean, what? I, we'll get to it later. But talking about the the game development company, he was you know that he was a part of. Um, either they got really really scared, or they wanted rid of him too. But I'll back it up here. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest motherfucker in this industry. Six foot eight. Gorgeous. Athletic. Successful. College degree. College athlete. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person, a husband, I, and I father. I need to back that up. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Six foot eight. Six foot eight. That makes you the realist. What what does that what does that mean? Your height? Is that is that the name of a company he has? I don't know. I don't know enough. To me, it just sounds like he's stating his height, which don't mean shit. Gorgeous, athletic, successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business. A lot of us have college degrees. People people lose their job with college degrees every day, and people with college degrees lie every day. I'm not sure how that helps you. He said bourbon. I'm not sure what that means either. It's gaming studio. I mean, Beautiful. I, I know what bourbon means, but I don't know why it helps him out. The gaming studio, um, which, you know, it seems like he's saying he's still a part of if you... If you watch through the stream, but, you know, I didn't see anything. I I looked it up to see if they had took him back, and, you know, everything on the first page was, you know, uh, what's the name of it? I think, is it Midnight Society? Something like that. Let's Dr. Disrespect go, or cuts ties with Dr. Disrespect.
six foot eight, gorgeous, athletic, successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business, gaming studio, beautiful family. And a beautiful family, which if I'm, I mean, if I'm wrong, correct me, but he's betrayed before, right? Six foot eight, gorgeous, athletic, successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business, gaming studio, beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person, a husband and father, and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. I'm not sure. And all these true. people, they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't think it has to do with being perfect. I think it, you know, from what you're being accused of, that's a little worse than being imperfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Eh, sometimes I do. Yeah, you, you have really worked yourself up in the last few statements. That, that little grin. He, he sits there and tells you he's perfect, then says, I'm not perfect. And then, you know, he, even he can't stand it. He's got to say it, I'm perfect. This is so manipulative to me. That's what it seems like to me. Just straight up manipulation. And his younger audience, a lot of them, it's going to be just fine. That's what they're going to, they're going to say. It's all fine. It's all good. That's what comes with life experience, though. You learn about the horrors of life. He knows about these things. He's got to know that this statement ain't helping him with anyone who's thinking about it it's only helping him with with his uh with an audience that's gonna stick by no matter what i honestly think even people on the fence a lot of them will have jumped over to the other other side by the end of hearing what he has to say but i also didn't do all the shit that they're saying i did but then that doesn't make a story right Actually, no. If if everything they said is wrong and you come out and you prove, if you prove it that it's wrong and it makes Twitch look bad, the journalists for all these other outlets are not going to be like, uh, oh, we got to protect Twitch no matter what. You know, there, there might be some that have a deal with Amazon or whatever, corporate buddies, but a lot of these places, especially on YouTube, where these people are not affiliated with it, people who don't like Twitch, if you come out and prove that you did absolutely nothing wrong, that this was a witch hunt the whole time, that is a story. It's a story if they screw you over. He knows this. They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. Which is bigger than you, Dr. Disrespect? If there's any wrongdoing on their part, that's controversy. That's media attention. And by sensationalizing all of this with big, inaccurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted. At the expense of the two time. At the two time. The reality is, the two -timer. they wanted to cut down the dock. Plain and simple. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. It's not that they just want to cut down Dr. Disrespect here. They, you know, with a lot of people, it's true. They're going to cut down anyone they can get a story about, but they would rather cut down Twitch than they would you because they're going to get way more clicks that way, especially if, you know, they they include the uh, the Amazon affiliation, right? Their Twitch is owned by Amazon, I believe. They still are. I know they were. That would be huge. And more people know about Amazon than know about Dr. Disrespect. He's He may be a Twitch celebrity, but that's not as big big as a lot of people think it is i don't watch twitch very much i haven't watched a twitch stream probably this whole year there's only one or two creators that i watch they're small a lot of people don't watch it at all but people who know nothing about twitch have nothing to do with it they know who amazon is and that's going to equal more clicks than you 
You may be known by not, uh, by a lot of people, Dr. Disrespect, but you are not known by the majority of people uh, on Earth. Probably not the majority of people in America, right? It's like these people who get TikTok famous. Well, TikTok famous, you are famous to people that are terminally online. Uh, you're famous to children. You're, you're not that famous. There's going to be other people who know about you. You know, people who go out looking for this kind of stuff or uh provide commentary on it like i want to say i i was not looking for this i i watch a lot of youtube it popped up on one of the creators i watched and uh, i watched a a little bit of what they had to say about it and then i i cut that off and i went and checked his stream out um and that's why i'm here today i because i felt like i had a lot to say about it I've got some examples right here. Example number one, a streamer that frequently used the N word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Yeah, and that person, that's pretty bad. I wouldn't want to watch them. Maybe some people are like, okay, second chance. I don't know. Keem Star, that's a good example of someone who's done that. I've never liked Keem Star. I don't watch him. I don't think he should be as popular as he is. He's still on YouTube. While that's a terrible thing to say, I still don't think it's as bad as what is being accused here. But it, it is bad. And there there should be some kind of ramifications for that. Twitch scheduled a meeting with a streamer to ascertain his attempt to determine whether his contact <coughs> was a violation of Twitch's policies. Ultimately, determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. That's that's another thing. We go back to talking about whether it affects their bottom line. They're going to keep these people if they think they're still going to make money with them. You know, it's it's not about morality with them. It's it's about public opinion, clicks, and getting views. Somebody had to think. Maybe uh, the guy who was supposed to support this partnership, maybe he convinced somebody that it was going to affect the bottom line. But when it comes to these big corporations, it ain't about morality. Okay, we know that Twitch lets certain people get by with things they don't know. There, there is some clear prejudices within Twitch. People know that. That's, that's a controversy Doesn't that hadn't included you, and it's got clicks too. You can go on YouTube and and see what people have to say about Twitch. You know, you, you talk about gambling. You know, for a long time, people were gambling on there, and Twitch wasn't doing nothing about it and promoting it. And all these kids were watching it. That rubbed people the wrong way. They didn't do nothing about it until they felt like they had to. Why wasn't I called into a, from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Why wasn't I called into a from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? It's not about your intent. It's about their money. Hmm. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. I would love to know who that is. That's disgusting. If somebody knows who that is and can prove it, they really should speak out because that's the whole thing. If it ain't going to cost them any money, they're willing to let some awful shitty stuff go under the rug. Example number three. Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. had failed Whoop. preferable profitable and expensive streamers leaving mixer as soon as twitch knew that mixer had failed and go look at the timing yeah i mean that's that's a, another good point um if they felt like they was going to get more money from someone uh from mixer and they thought that they could get by cheaper with breaking contract with you you know, that's the case and you can prove it. Just just do it. The only 
real reason to keep quiet is if you're doing any litigation on this. But you you can say that you've got a, a lawsuit. There, you can say that. And if you've got a lawsuit uh, going against anybody, you you really should just say it. These other expensive streamers needed a new streaming platform. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two time. Uh. You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. It has affected us on so many levels back in 2020 and now in 2024. And Cody Connors, I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? Well, it, if none of this is true, I mean, even if it even if it does happen to be true, we kind of know why he was doing it. He he wanted attention. He he was looking to make some money uh, himself. And like I said earlier, I'm not. He he has no credibility with me but uh dr disrespect doesn't either at least not the way he's handled it and trying to play 4d chess over here uh including specific words that definitely didn't help him so and dr disrespect he he knows why he done it that's enough to make him mad there you gotta do something just something like this you know maybe it will blow over a lot of these big streamers, things seem to blow over it. It seems with Dr. Disrespect, uh, things he's said before, I guess, have blown over. So, it's it's not working out as quickly as he wants it to, that's for sure. But, you know, if Dr. Disrespect, he's never going to see this, but if, if he's taken damages from it and can prove all this is wrong, you know, th this guy's never going to have the money to uh pay for that but you can make a stink out of it like i said this was handled professionally years ago no fucking wrongdoing professionally doesn't mean morally but because of you cody we just lost ah fuck man Hard to think about all that money going away for him. That's what Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Okay, Thanks. let's go back. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Now, this this does seem a little manipulative to me. Maybe Midnight Society, maybe they lost some sort of funding because of this big stink and they did have to lay off people. From what I can tell, the one that they cut ties from because of this was Dr. Disrespect. There's a lot of tech layoffs going on now. I don't know if uh, he's trying to use those to say, or use those uh, layoffs that are related to that and say that this is the reason why those layoffs are happening. There's a lot of tech layoffs happening right now, and, you know, it, it can be hard to find a job for people in, in tech and information technology. I'm not inclined to believe that this is the reason why uh, Midnight Society had to, to lay off anyone, but, they, you know, they very well could have lost some kind of funding um, and couldn't pay all their employees. So it's got to be Cody's fault or Dr. Disrespect's. Paul, right? It's got to be one or the other. Or, you know, Twitch is, I guess you could say Twitch in general. It could be their fault. But from what I can tell, the only one that's directly, the only person's job that was directly affected by this was his. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? It does feel like manipulation to me. Right. Because of you, Cody. You know, through all this, we are where we are. And like a fucking man, I'll accept it. 
But I don't accept to sit in quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. For all these doc haters out there too, oh man. The ones that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems, right? I, I can't understand that mindset. I don't give, I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane. But somehow, someway, these people, they just get in our lane. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to say by we stayed in our lane. I mean, he doesn't do drama or commentary, at least. It doesn't seem like on purpose. Um, yeah, maybe he does. I don't know. People that hate him, they're going to hate him anyway. They're going to scrutinize everything he does if they hate him enough. I think most people uh, watching this, you know, including myself, are pretty indifferent about him. You know, I definitely see Amazon and Twitch in, uh, I don't, I don't see those, them in a, in a good light. So I don't think many people, unless they're children who, who just don't have the life experience to know how bad corporations can be. I don't think anyone's really just going to take anybody's side over yours. I think People really do want to look at this and break it down and just, you know, get down the brass tacks on this. And, you know, this whole mess is in your lane, man. You, you got to address it. It seems to me like you're kind of over in the emergency lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll dissect, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. I'll say this. This isn't for you. And I'm sure by doc haters, he means anybody that's looking into this at all. Me making this video, he probably would consider me a doc hater. I, I gotta be honest, um, I'm very much indifferent on him, but I would really like to know what's going on here. People make their living streaming on Twitch and on YouTube, this stuff. Uh, lots of kids get on these websites. I think most people just want to make sure that people are uh, safe. Especially people with kids. You know, people with kids want to make sure that their kids are going online and not not talking to old men, right? So there comes a point to where if you see a crash in the other lane, you might need to stop and take a look and, and let somebody know that there needs to be some sort of cleanup or something, right? Because if you don't, it's just going to cause more trouble. This was for my team today, my community, my friends, what you need to do. I'll say this, this isn't for you. And that's true. The, this whole part of this stream that he's done, it, it really doesn't feel like it is for the haters. It feels like he's trying to bolster support with what he has left in his audience. That's it. Because if he was trying to appease his detractors or people who are just having some sort of critique he's gonna have to do a lot more he's gonna have to he's gonna have to prove what he's saying is correct and you know when it comes to the justice system i think there's a lot of things that need fixed because it's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty but even in court a lot of times it's uh guilty until proven innocent but in the court of public opinion it is almost always entirely guilty and until proven innocent. And you just have to say, well, I don't give a crap about this. I don't think he's in any situation where he can do that. Or you got to fight it or you, you've got to go do something else. That's just the way it is. Maybe you can live off donations. You know, I don't know what his lifestyle is. If it's pretty extravagant, donations ain't going to cut it. He's going to have to either cut back or find other avenues of making some money if he doesn't prove himself i mean take for instance casey anthony right one of the most hated women in america most people believe she did what she was accused of lots of people still hate her and she was she was acquitted sometimes even if you win you can still loot. When it comes down to it, it's people's perception of you. It doesn't necessarily matter whether something was legal. Sometimes it don't even matter if it was morally right. It, it matters how you're perceived. And right now, Dr. Disrespect 
has a lot of bad perception. He's got a lot of neutral perception too, but it's, you know, people ain't going to remain that way. People are going to look at this and some people, some people are going to hate him no matter what he does. Most people for right now, they're just looking to see if you're going to back this stuff up, if you're going to prove your innocence, which I know you never feel like you should have to prove your innocence, but you're going to have to do that, or this is going to have to blow over, or you, you might just have to not stream anymore. You might have to find something else. Either way, it's got to move from where it is now, and uh, streams like this ain't ain't going to help you out in that regard. It's, you know, it's just a bolster the support that he still has and you know it's probably worked out he's probably the people who are still with him most of them probably stick by him some people might look at this and whether or not it's genuine or the things he's saying or not some people might feel like it is and he might still have some drop off who knows he could even gain subscribers at the beginning he said you know, he alluded to how black and white the internet is, and a lot of people's opinions sure seem that way, but there's a lot of horrible people who make a good living on the internet. I mean, there are tons of people. People get kicked off YouTube and get kicked off Twitch, can't do either one of them, and still somehow are able to make money. You never know, but if he doesn't get his monetization back with YouTube, you know, it's never going to be that good again if he can't get YouTube and I imagine even with YouTube he's not made quite as much money as he made over at Twitch this was for my team today my community my friends la familia that have supported me and I'm not denying the exchange of whispers champs I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there it looks bad I'm going to back it up, but I, you know, I want to point out, he's saying my team, La Familia, he, he's using those words. You know, that just seems, it seems like it's sucking up a little bit to who he's got left, which is probably the smart thing to do. You know, it always seems a little bit more genuine when you are, when your message is for everyone. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch user thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate. I gotta back it up. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch user thought our exchange of whispers. I will run it back again. But again, he says that there were whispers. Well, he says he's not denying that there were an exchange of whispers. And I get he's saying either it looks bad or he's not denying it doesn't look bad. That does not help him with with the people he says he doesn't care about. I, I do think he does care about it. You know, each new subscriber, that's going to help him out. Uh, that's going to help him get more money uh, if, if he gets his monetization back. But maybe he's doing 4D chess again, but I can't see how that statement is helping his cause. Whispers was inappropriate. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there, it looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch user thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. I guess it all matters how you define it, right? If you're going by the legal definition, if you're going by age of consent, if you're going by... By that, I mean, has anybody said for sure in their writings, oh, it was with someone under the age of consent? Because from what I've seen, it was always just talking about a minor in general. I don't know. Maybe he's just super smart and outplaying us all. And I, I, I don't know really what to say about it. Maybe uh, everybody's got it wrong and he's completely genuine. It would have helped to have not wore the wig, though, and the sunglasses. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this, right? Unless I need to, because trust me, I have more I haven't disclosed. I just He has more he hasn't disclosed. If it can, if it can help you, 
disclose it, right? And people, I, I have looked a little bit through the comment section of this particular stream, and you know, all the people are saying he can't talk about it because uh, he's he's going to file a lawsuit. He can't do this. He can't do that. He he can talk about it, unless there's a gag order. He absolutely can talk about it. Does it mean it's smart to talk about it? In some cases it might be. Some cases it ain't. Take Donald Trump for one. Talking about him or him talking about his cases always helps him, even if uh, he ain't really helping himself out. And by helping himself out, I mean with uh, with everyone. Donald Trump, he has a lot of people that are ride or die with him. They'll stick with him no matter what. Him speaking out bolsters their commitment to him. And he even talked about his court cases, even though he was under gag order. He sees himself as untouchable, and, you know, for all intents and purposes, he has been untouchable. I don't think Dr. Disrespect has the same luxury to this that he does, but, you know, I haven't seen anything about a lawsuit, and he absolutely can talk about it. But uh, all he needs is for his comment section to be on his side like that, and it helps him out. You got to remember, a lot of them are just too young to know any better. And even even not being too young, the legal system is something else. It's very confusing. A lot of people don't understand it. I'm not even saying I understand everything about it. I understand quite a bit about cybercrime. Outside of that, I'm not I'm not well versed, but. You know, I just, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but if this stuff doesn't prove that what he is saying is true and that everything that he done was all above board, not talking about it helps him. And skirting around the issue like this would help him in that case too. If everything was just fine, he really should show some things. I want to get back to what we do best. Put on a show and climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. That's it. You can really tell that took some energy from him. Talking about it does, you know, seem to have shook him a little bit. And that, that could just be because he's mad because he he feels slighted by this whole situation. Or it could be he's worried. I may have to cut some of this out. People want to show the message. Release the messages. Show the messages. Yes. People do want that. Now, whether... You know, whether you want to or not because of some litigation going on. But, you know, if what you're saying is true, that that could be a big help to you. That could be it. So I don't understand why you're mocking them over this. Of course, people want to see the messages. If they exonerate you, that's going to help you. It may not help you with who you're calling the doc haters. If you can show the messages, show the messages. If if everything is all good, that can only help you. <laughs> Let's hear that again. People want to show the message. Release the messages. Show the messages. I would say there's also a chance that he may not even have the messages anymore, but I would say Twitch sure does. There is a possibility that they have given him a copy of them. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't have access to them at all. If he doesn't have access to them, he should definitely say that, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the mocking tone. What are we, in second grade? It seems like it, but not... It's you who seems like you're in second grade. You are the one mocking them, making the voices. So like I said, champs, during this, YouTube demonetized us. 
Uh, we have S September 25th is when we can reapply. All right, so that's the end of the clip I took. I know some people are going to want to go down into the comments and say, why did you keep cutting it? If you want to watch the entire thing, just go to Dr. Disrespect's channel. And uh, I think it was called The, the Truth. Go there, search through that five and a half hour, six hour stream, find it and watch it. If I had just played out the whole thing, it would be, it wouldn't be fair use. And I had a lot to say. I wanted to say it when those points come up. If you want to see it without the interruptions, you need to go to the original source. You know, anybody that watches this, I would rather you not go over to Dr. Disrespect's channel and leave a comment. You know, like I said at the beginning, I ain't accusing him of anything. I'm not exonerating him of anything either. I just thought it was an interesting subject and uh, I wanted to say some things about it. And that's what this is about. And uh, there may be some more of those coming to the channel. Who knows? I know uh, th this is the first time I've done any content like this. I'm always iffy about uh, doing any sort of reaction or commentary on other people's content because people like to abuse DMCA rules, but there's a possibility there will be more of this not related to Dr. Disrespect in the future. If, if uh, he makes another statement somewhere down the road and I find it interesting and have something to say, maybe we'll go over it. When you go down into the comments, I would rather everyone keep it clean. Um, tell me your thoughts, whether you think he was being genuine or whether he was, uh, he was trying to deflect or maybe he, maybe you also think he's just trying to bolster the support that he already has or what, what he has left. Um, but again, don't harass anyone. Nothing good can come from that. Don't, you know, I wouldn't even go harass any body in the, his comments that are uh, on his side they have every right to have their own opinion to it other than that like subscribe um i know i've been gone for a while i went back to school done some things and uh you know had a little bit of time to make this video hopefully i make some time for more i should be able to because my plate's not as full as it was for the past two years just uh let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see the whole thing go check out the original stream or someone else's clips if you're if you're here watching the video you need to be here to listen to me talk so uh i don't think i have anything else i hope everyone has a great day and thank you for stopping by we'll see you next time